Boop, boop, still don't know the words. This is gonna be an expensive parking ticket. Parking ticket, parking fee. Okay, here we go. I was driving down the highway from the airport to get to uh, Whole Foods here. There. And um, I heard something like pop, and I thought I had punctured a tire. And then I got off the highway, and I kept looking at my tire gauge, and it looked fine. And I got off the highway, and noticed something like flapping in my peripheral vision. And like this piece, kind of like this rubber gasket thing is here, it's just like flapping. Um, and actually at a stoplight, I just like pulled down the window and put my hand up and popped it back down and it seems fine, but um, I'll definitely bring it up next time I take the car to the dealer. I don't think that's a big deal. I'm hoping that's the only thing that made that noise. It must've just like flew off. Yeah, the tires look fine. Okay, I'm going to go So we're in Austin. Well, this big truck's kind of blocking it, but we're leaving Austin. Well, didn't get anything that interesting at the grocery store, but I'll try to show you later. I can remember it was dark in the parking garage, but it's a beautiful day. I have about a seven and a half hour drive plus stops, I'm guessing, so here we go. Well, the adventure continues. I didn't get, I don't know, maybe 15 miles down the highway leaving um, Austin, and the thing, I heard the noise again. I was like, oh no, my tire. And then I was like, no, it's definitely the gasket. And I reached my hand up out the window and the gasket thing is back. So uh, the first exit I could get off, by some good fortune, there's a Hobby Lobby here. And I'll show you when I come back out, but there's like, it's just like a little double stick piece of foam holding this gasket on. I don't understand like who thought that was a sturdy construction option, but I'm gonna go, buy some sort of glue that works on, you know, metal and paint and stuff and uh, see if I can fix it at least until I get it to a dealer, I guess. But I, it's not like super critical. I just don't want to lose that piece because um, I feel like it's supposed to help against rust and stuff. I'm just making that up so I don't actually know. But uh, yeah, so that was good fortune. Um, Hobby Lobby, we go. All right, I don't have, well, I got gum, so you know, that's important. A high level of confidence for this. They did have epoxy, but I didn't want to do anything that might damage the car. I thought, I figured this might just suffice. So I'll try to climb up and show you, but it's a little hard to hang on and hang on to the phone at the same time. Okay, so this is the not focusing on it, but this is the double sided tape that's not sticky. And then there's just like one little punch in part, and it's not enough to like hold it in the um when you're going so fast on the highway. And I think what happens, because the car was sitting in a Texas parking lot for two months, this just dried out. So I'm gonna clean this off and then try the um, super glue. Okay, well, aside from getting super glue all over myself, cause it like, was, it's so hot here that it just kind of like came shooting out. I'm gonna hope that that suffices. If not, I might just take the rubber gasket off until I can get to a proper place to repair it. Um, we'll see, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm like super glue stuck to my hands <laughs> and I can't open it. <laughs> just more adventures on the road. All right, well, I'm gonna get a move on and um, if I can open this. <laughs> in where are we <laughs> in hold on <laughs> canyon texas you guys i'm so excited to be here this is such a cool place i actually pulled up the listing because i want to read you a little bit about the story behind this spot it's been a long day that was like a, about an eight hour drive um i drove from austin directly but i did make some stops i went to whole foods as you saw and I did stop a couple of times for gas. 
but otherwise it was smooth sailing, so I drove mostly through central Texas now to west Texas, and the landscape surprised me. It was actually pretty verdant, is that the right word? Like green, lush? In central Texas, I know they've been getting a lot of rain lately, so maybe that has something to do with it. Um, and then it turned a bit drier as I got further west, but lots of farmland, some really interesting landscape too that I wasn't quite expecting. These like kind of mini hills, just kind of like in the middle of prairie land, it's just like hill. <laughs> it's just so cool. I love big sky. I love, um, not big, I do love big sky Montana, which I have been to, but I love just actual, like the sky, just so expansive to see everything. It's real misty and not so nice out right now, but it was a really beautiful sunny drive for most of it. Uh, so that was really fun. And honestly, I just, I was looking on the Airbnb map for a spot between Austin and my next destination where I could either camp or, actually I was looking primarily to camp and then I thought it might be too hot, but given the weather now, it's not hot. But this, I don't think this is typical for this time of year because the temperatures are usually like in the 80s and 90s and it's like 62 and misty. Um, but, um, so I could have camped. But I found this place, a, a hot skip and a stone's throw away, I don't think that's the right saying, it's okay, from um, a state park I'm going to go hike tomorrow, uh, which of course I'll bring you along with me. And it's just so cool, you guys know I love staying at um, unique places, unique dwellings like this, I love ex you know just having fun experimenting a little bit on the fly with a tiny living like this too, um, and it's just so cool. So this place called El Capitan, and I do apologize if I'm not saying that correctly, is um, made out of a refrigerated box car, like a train car, right? Uh, I don't know exactly where the train car originated from, but the, the dwelling is named after and inspired by, and this is where I'm pulling up the listing to tell you, um, El Capitan, I'm just going to read this to you, which was a streamlined passenger train operi operated by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway from Chicago, Illinois to Los Angeles, California from 1938 to 1971. And she says, El Capitan leaves behind a legacy of being a luxurious, efficient passenger line to cross the Western Plains. I love that. She wanted to keep the legacy alive and create a space that combines the spirit of the West with modern day conveniences when she, she was... Um, renovating this refrigerated box car. I just think it's incredible. I I, I love it. I think uh, it's so neat and just gonna be a fun, fun experience. Very short stay. Uh, usually to really like settle into an Airbnb, I would recommend two nights because by the time you get to your destination, check-in is usually sometime between like three and five at most places I've stayed at at least. Um, by the time you get all settled in, it's like nighttime and then it's nice to have a whole day to either just like experience the dwelling or the surroundings around or go do something in the local area and come back and really have more time uh, but this is just a one night stop for me I'm so grateful I found it but uh, oh I'm just like talking about it let's look at it let's go on the tour I'm sorry let's go on the tour and then I'll continue flapping my trap <laughs> It's part of a train, uh, but it's so cool. I did already step inside, but I will take you in with me. Yay, we are here. Okay, so you let yourself in with the keypad, and oh my gosh, I love it. I'm going to go ahead and turn, whoa, turn some lights on because I'm here kind of late and it's starting to get dark, uh, but it's so stinking cute. I can't even look at the fridge. Okay, so the host... The hostess sent a very nice message. Look, she's a very good artist, too. She's got horses and dogs. Actually, when we look out the back window, you'll be able to see the horses in the field. She left all these snacks. She said she put some drinks in the fridge. Oh, it's so nice. I love that. 
sweet little kitchen. We'll get into that. We're gonna go from back to front here. This is so cool, and if it was a nicer weather, I would totally open this up, this like garage style back patio. Uh, so cool, with a really cool place to sit out. Here you can kind of see the, well, they're so far away, and I don't have a terribly good zoom lens, but uh, the horsies are out there, take my word for it. So cozy in here too, it's kind of, misty and chilly outside and it feels really nice in here they've got like a heater air conditioning unit i'm gonna guess i don't actually know but some uh southwestern flair here we are in western texas actually uh so decor makes sense what is this i don't know am i not supposed to go in this i just like to look at everything oh bookshelf fun with some blankets and bits and bobs can she put it back together a really cool cabinet though look at the colors on that like I said I mean the kitchen's just too cute it is dog friendly see the dog bowls on the bottom there uh, a little sign that says happy trails uh, personalized greeting really sweet little kitchen here basics microwave basically is the only cooking thing but uh, I have my whole camping kit in the car if I wanted to pull it pull out burners I could uh, but yeah Really nice. And then this painting here, guest book. Please feel free to know where you're coming from. Oh, fun. Something unique about yourself. They offer coffee and tea. There's a Keurig machine. My phone is not part of <laughs> the decor. And then we'll walk down this way. Again, I'm going to put some lights on. This, it's always better to show you a tour in broad daylight, but um, that's not available to me this trip, so we'll just go with it. How sweet is this bathroom? It's actually really roomy. Look at all the amenities and, and things she supplies, lots of travel sizes of things, and which is really nice. She said, sent a whole list of um, suggestions about the shower, which she called homemade. <laughs> it's a homemade shower. I actually probably won't be using the shower. I'm only here for one night, sadly. I need a pit stop between Austin and where I'm heading next, and uh, I just happened to find this on Airbnb, and I was like, oh, yes, please. And then the bedroom, I think this is my favorite part. It's just so sweet. Look how sweet it is. I love, love, love the bedding and the pillows and the colors. <laughs> it's never too late to be a cowboy. <laughs> Look how cool, like, the wood is on the wall here. These skylights are so neat. I love that. I love, I know a lot of people like sleeping with, like, pitch black so they can sleep late and stuff, but I like to have natural light filter in. Um, when I'm sleeping unless you know for the most part and then there's this cute little closet nook area with lots of towels oh my goodness and bedding and hanging storage and cleaning supplies and all that jazz a mirror just so cool I mean a really sweet a really sweet place in a really cool location and I'm just Oh man, I'm so grateful to be here. Um, I'm so glad I found this spot. Such a neat spot. Uh, so I'm going to bring all my gear in and get, get kind of settled and, and then uh, we'll have a chance. Okay, so it's actually almost 8 o'clock and I am really exhausted. Um, and I think I'm just going to kind of get cozy. You know, I said I was going to show you the food. I really just bought the same things I usually buy, like bagged salad and hummus and I actually brought veggies from home that I brought on the plane because I didn't want them to go bad. Um, so I'm not really eating anything that interesting. I guess I'll show you but uh, I'm just gonna have a salad and some hummus and um, kind of tuck in. I'm real real tired and I'm hoping to get an early morning tomorrow. So not a lot of time to really get cozy and um, kind of dive into this dwelling but I'm grateful for the night and I think just think it's a really great spot uh, and I love being able to see the horses in the pasture out there that's so neat too uh, so yeah let's uh, make some non exciting dinner well my friends this is not the height of excitement but this is dinner organic kale Caesar chopped salad kit from Whole Foods the Whole Foods in Austin like downtown it's really nice it's um, like beautifully pristine, very organized. Uh, 
Is there, I don't know if I even like, do I need a dirty bowl? There aren't even bowls. I'm just going to have the salad in the bag as if I were camping. Um, also, I got this really cool hummus, like a local hummus. This <laughs> my veggies. I brought veggies from home. <laughs> Go all the way to Texas and bring your own veggies from Chicago. Uh, look at this. Dill and garlic hummus. And it's um, by a company that's in Texas. Yeah, they're local to Austin. So, um, I don't know, if I, I just wanted to bring that in from the car. I mean, I've got a bag of ice in the car and it's not hot out, so it'll be fine. I just didn't know if the salad would be enough, um, because I, I didn't buy anything to, like, put on it, like a protein or anything. Didn't think about that. Anyway, uh, I'm really beat, so I'm probably not going to film much more today. <laughs> this is a very anticlimactic coming to the Airbnb. Honestly, the, 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 like climactic part was the um the tour it's just i love it it's so cute and i'm really enjoying my time here already i just spent a considerable amount of time trying to rescue this big beautiful moth that was trapped in here and in doing so i figured out how to open the garage um, picture window door thing there and i got it out uh so that was cool and also useful because now i know how to open that if i want to open it in the morning or whatever but i i do um i something that i've come to do a little bit more in recent road trips is pick out my hikes or at least kind of get a sense of them uh, before my trip. Sometimes it's only a couple days before. Sometimes it's a couple of weeks before. It's usually not much more in advance of that. But that will kind of help me determine where I want to look to sleep to. Like if I want to camp somewhere or find a, an Airbnb. While I'm home I will do all the research on the trails and I will um, download them to my phone so I have them. So I'm actually going to go tomorrow morning bright and early. I think they open at 7 so I'd like to be there as early as possible because I hear it gets a little bit crowded. Um, to the Palo Duro Canyon State Park which is about 25 minutes away from here. It's kind of in the wrong direction from where I want to go but it's okay because I really want to do this hike here. I don't know if I'm going to do the the full lighthouse trail that's 8 miles, or if I'm going to do the lighthouse trail one that's only 5.8 miles. I also have a, another drive tomorrow, but it's not nearly as long as today's. I think it's um, like uh, only 5 or so hours. But uh, So I'll kind of finish planning for that tonight, and I might just stretch because I was in the car for so long, and then tuck in pretty early. Um, I hear the stars here are pretty epic, but it's so misted over, clouded over, I don't think I'm going to see them tonight. It's okay. There are other legs of this trip where I am hoping to see good stars. And if that's not in the cards, then that's not in the cards, but uh, there's a, a leg of the trip, not the next leg, but the leg after, where the potential for star starry nights is pretty high. So I want to make sure that I'm getting a rest. This has been... Um, it, I'm just very tired on all levels and um, feed myself, tuck in, and I will see you in the morning and I'll report back on how the, the night sleep and all that, sleeping in the, sleeping in the car, in the train, that's not moving, but it, I love it, it's just, I love this so much. I love this amount of space too, I feel like this is a, a really ideal amount of space for like one to two people, probably just that's my own opinion. Okay, I'm gonna eat. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm filming this on my phone so I can zoom. It's not gonna be great quality because it's actually pretty dark out. Look at the full. Oh. I didn't, the, the full must have been way out in the pasture and then they all just came in when the sun went down. Well, I can't really see the sun, but when the light started to get dark. Good morning from misty western Texas. It's it's cool and misty out, but I think that's going to be kind of perfect because you can see the sky is going to burn off a little. And I'm going to hike in a place that ten, tends to get hot, so this should be good. It was a good night. Um, we had some little moth friends. They keep coming in. I, don't, I can't keep putting them out because they keep coming back in, but uh, it was all right. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> that was unintentional. Alright, you guys. I am actually heading out. I woke up a 
about an hour ago I had to do some work while I had some, I'm not even while I had some internet. I'm just making my green juice. This is not an ad. I actually was influenced <laughs> by ads <laughs> of other creators I follow to try this. I've been using it for almost this whole year now and no that's not well the better part of this year and I like it. I like it. I'm going to say I like it. Do I love drinking it? No, but it does force me to get a nice amount of water in my system first thing in the morning. It replaces my vitamin and... Oh, it sounds like an ad! It's not an ad, I promise! Um, and some other nutrients and uh, it just... I don't know. I feel a difference when I take it. I promise I am not sponsored. <laughs> I do have like a referral link that just anybody can get but I put all my links usually are referral or affiliate because it does help and if you are interested I don't know if it will do anything if I I can't be I don't even know what it gets you maybe like a a little off my next order or something but I would appreciate it if you're interested in trying it uh, but I like it have AG1 we'll travel oh my god I sound like an ad <laughs> Anyway, uh, so it's just after 7. I really want to get on the trail by 8, and it's cutting it kind of close because it's about a half an hour. I think by the time I get to the state park, pay to get in and actually park. Uh, but uh, it's okay if I'm on the trail a little bit after that. Um, so I'm just going to change my clothes. I'm really not sure what to wear because everybody on the All Trails app reviews is like, it gets so hot, it gets so hot. And it's like, not going to get over like, 55. So I might just throw some shorts in my backpack. I don't know yet. I'm going to wear pants to leave. So I'm going to run out to my car and bring the clothes in and get some clothes to change into and then pack up and go. This was a very, very short but sweet stay here. I love this. It was so quiet. It was so quiet and I think you totally would have been able to see the stars if it wasn't so overcast, um, which would have been amazing. This uh, Airbnb is right on property to the host's home. It's on the host's home property and their home is right there and the barn is right there. It's not like right there. It's, you know, a good ways away, but it's open. Like you can see their house. You can see the barn. Obviously you guys saw the horses last night, but it was so quiet. And um, they gave me lots of space. They checked in like on the app as you're supposed to, not just like meander up. Um, and it, you know, it was great. I, I really recommend if you're driving through these parts, this is a beautiful place to stay. And um, would have loved to spend another day, but gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. All right, so let me get dressed and we'll hit the road. <laughs> that was not an ad, I promise. <laughs> I am a hot mess. Okay, so bummer alert. Um, the trails are closed. They had a flash flood like a couple days ago and they're closed. Um, so I'm not gonna stay because that's I was gonna hike. Um, that's all right. Hopefully I will cross by here again someday and, and get to do this hike. It looks really cool, but what can you do? It's closed. So I am recalibrating then. This video, oh, what am I gonna do with this video? I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video. I think I might condense it just um, into my next video. That's the end of that chapter. Oh well. Um, I actually gonna head to my next destination and which is Santa Fe, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to actually um, see if I can hike there um, on my way in because I had a bunch of hikes flagged and um, I can um, it's too early to go to my Airbnb so uh, I think I will just start driving and we'll do that oh, such a bummer oh well these things happen gotta be flexible so I'm um, I use all trails and I'm gonna look for I have saved some so I'm gonna look for oh I didn't save them don't say them. And I didn't say them. Well, I'm going to do some looking around and figure out what I want to do. And I will, uh, well, I'll see you there. So we're going to head to Santa Fe and goodbye, Texas. Show you a little bit of my process here. So I have um, 
flagged. I've made a little folder in my All Trails app, and I do pay for the premium one because I like to be able to download all the different kinds of maps and stuff. Um, but you can also access this app on a free version, I believe. And they have a website too. So I've kind of done some research on the internet outside of this app, and then I always like the reviews in the app too. I find them very helpful. Um, so I think... Uh, I'm going to drive to this mountain range, which is kind of all in the same area, more or less, I, th I think. Uh, and I'm going to... Actually, I wonder if I can look. Map view. Let's see. Yeah, they're kind of all s around this place. So I'm going to see... Oh, that's the Nambe Lake. See, I might save that one. So I might drive down to this base area and see... Um, if I want to, yeah, I think I might want to look here and see if there's something I want to um, do from there. So I don't know if it's focusing on. I'm looking at the phone and not the camera. Anyway, I'm going to head out and we'll just see what the day brings. If this doesn't work out today, I can go hiking on another day. But uh, that's, it's not focusing on it. It's okay. That's the plan. We're going to head out. Sorry I couldn't hike here. I'm sure it would have been fantastic. But oh well. What can you do? All right, you guys. I... You know, I like to stop at a local coffee shop when I'm in a new place and just get a sense of it. I don't know if this is a chain or not. Um, Journey Coffee, never heard of it. But I asked the barista to, what, if she could only ever have one drink from this place, what she would make for me. And she made me um, some sort of cinnamon chocolate cinnamon white chocolate something or other I don't even know but look at that it looks incredible mm. oh that's good I was afraid when she said white chocolate was going to be kind of sweet but it's actually not it's perfect all right we're going to leave that lid on look at this cute little stopper Anyway, I did take a, a little bit of footage in there. Always ask permission. It's a really nice thing to do. Um, and just, you know, the thing to do. Always good to ask permission when it's, you know, a business or anything like that. And I also got a bacon egg burrito, which is piping hot. And I got it to go thinking I'd eat it while I was driving. But how can I put the salsa on when I'm driving? So I'm just going to eat it right now. And uh, report back on how that is. In just a moment. Oh my god. Mmm. That is tasty. Okay. 10 out of 10 recommend. Lovely place. Really friendly folks. There's a college here. I'm near West Texas A&M University apparently. So lots of college kids around. I think it was mostly run by college kids. and They had a lot of awards and things. I don't know. Really nice place. All right, then we're going to mosey on. Make our way to Santa Fe. Let's open up a restaurant in Santa Fe. Anybody know what that is? If you know what that is, you get bonus points. It's my, one of my favorite shows of all time. Awkward car filming. I 
I'm sorry. It's, the lighting's going to be terrible. Okay, so I made it to the trailhead, and I cannot find my phone. Where did I put it? In my backpack. Well, that seems about right. No, it's not in my backpack. So, where am I hiking? I am hiking at the, I'm not going to say this right, but the Picacho Peak Trail. It's just shy of four miles, so it's not a huge one. It's got some, excuse me, 1,230 feet of elevation gain and um, shown as moderate. So it's really nice. It's about 60 degrees, a little breezy, a little partly cloudy, but I have had some sun, so I put some sunscreen on. Um, I'm bringing this pack today. I don't have a water bladder in it. I'm just bringing my water bottle on the side and I thought I would just share with you really quickly a little bit lighting is terrible okay I have to do that after what I'm bringing in my pack so I've got my wallet and some tissues and my car keys all clipped in and I've got my little hiking um, first aid kit I've got some cashews and chocolate chips and a go macro bar and a couple of Clementines, kind of at the bottom. Got a little towel, you just never know, it comes in handy. A little bug spray, because I really don't know what the bug situation is. And I like to hike with a flashlight, just in case. It's one of those, you don't need it ever until you really need it, and then you really need it, kind of things. Um, I'm bringing a hat and um, my lightest jacket, so I'll shove those in there, and I've got my sunglasses, and I'm breaking in new hiking shoes today, and driving up here was so cool because it's like as soon as I got into the Santa Fe kind of bounds, everything turned to, um, I don't know how to call, is it Pueblo style, or I can't, I don't know what the word is, but the architecture all turned into this certain style that's, I think, very um, common for this area. Even the gas stations, like this pizza place, I don't know, it was really cool. Um, so, that's fun. And I thought there wasn't a bathroom, which is kind of a problem because I haven't been to the bathroom in a few hours, but there's a porta potty right there. So I'm going to go use that and then come back and get my pack and uh, we'll go. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't been hiking in forever. And um, it's one of my favorite things to do, obviously, or I wouldn't be doing it. So, um, also, I have my little camera. Where did I put it? <laughs> it's like I have all the things and then I put them down. I'm like, I don't know where you went. This is why I need to reorganize my car. Um, I'll find it. Never fear. I will find it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to film a little bit and we'll go hiking together. I thought it would be going up. Going down to start. Which is interesting. But it's a beautiful day. I'm real excited. And uh we'll see what we get up to. That's the first time I've seen that. Interesting. That's why I mean I always put my window covers up for just to keep the car cool, but also for safety. So I think I can hook up with the trail I want to going this way. I'm really not sure. It's all closed off. Oh, looks like it could go that way. I don't know, we're going straight up. Well, I'm supposed to be on the other side of this. I think they've gotten a lot of rain lately. I don't I don't see a way across, so hey, right, we're gonna go a different way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, I think we're on it. Another good reason to download your maps. Because it will still pick up GPS even if you don't have any service. There's my car. <laughs> This is fun. It's, um, you know, moderately steep. Ooh, a sign. We like information. Hydropower history. Oh, that's a reservoir. Interesting. We're not 10 minutes in and my new shoes have already slogged through a creek and through mud. And I'm now hiking this beautiful terrain. I hear children. Are we near a school? Maybe. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at these cool rocks. Very neat. Yeah, this is kicking my butt. 
I haven't hiked in, done a proper hike in a while since the fall and definitely not been at any elevation in a long time. Oh, oh look at this. So this system is part of the Dale Ball Trails, which are numerous and lengthy. There's a lot of trails, so again, comes in here to have your map downloaded so I can make sure I'm going the way I want to go for this particular hike because there's four ways to go. <laughs> okay, I think I'm about halfway up. Look at this view already. It's incredible. I think, I don't know, but I think we're going to the top of that. And by we, I mean you and me. Look at these beauties. Oh my gosh. On the cactus. I love it. This trail is so neat. Lots of, it's dynamic, you know. Got some forest in the bottom, more rock up here. I don't know if there's any scrambles or not. I don't think so. And the view and the plants. No wildlife yet, but I hear them chirping. They're around. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear these really cool church bells. I'm trying not to breathe. So cool. I don't know if you hear that or not, but I'm having fun. I'm way out of hiking shape, despite all the elevation training I'm doing at home. It's just so different. And I'm so glad to be out here and uh, I feel so happy. It's the last switchback. <laughs> Anybody like into the woods? No? I don't know if you can decipher my singing when I'm this out of breath. I almost let's stop. I went by so fast. Hello, pretty trail flowers. We're so close, you guys. I can see the top. Well, you can't, but I can. Almost there. There's some guys here, so I'm going to try not to disturb them, but I made it. I mean, it's just top. It's beautiful. I'm going to give you a look. There's a, a 360. Try not to get in anybody's way here, but, um, oh my gosh. It is beautiful. There's a doggy up here, too. Um, holy smokes. Look at this. And here's the other side. Oh my gosh, you guys. Worth it. So, took just about an hour. 1200 foot climb. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. Two miles by my watch. Um, really, just gorgeous. What a day. Yay! It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, again, not sure if you can see this, and I'll try to put in a screenshot if I can, if you can't see it, but um, apparently where I am at this peak, it's um, well, it says it's closer to 8,500 feet, um, and if you look at the peaks around, I don't see any that high, and that's pretty cool. But look at, look at, look, there are lots of mountains back there. So beautiful, couldn't have asked for a better day. All right, had a little snack, and bugs are nipping, so it's my cue to go back down, but gosh, what a beautiful spot. This just, this really left in my spirits and I'm so grateful I could be here to do this right now. So, now we go down. More trail flowers. So, um, I just want to share one, one thing. Um, I, uh, this is my first trip away since I lost my mini girl. Um, she passed at 13 years old and nine months. My little Shih Tzu, my angel. And I'm grieving really hard. And of course I'm not showing you the grieving parts. Um, going on this trip and, and doing what I do, making content, is helpful because it keeps me moving forward um, but it's been a really really tough time um, I just felt like I should share that because it's not look at this view it's just not 
this is life, right? It's, it's not always what you see on the video. What you see on the video is a very, very, very small fraction of my life. What a cool plant. Hold on. I just got really distracted by this plant. This cool plant, right? My goodness. Well, I don't share a lot of my life, especially my home life, and that's intentional. Uh, I, I do know that there are, if you've been following for some length of time, that there are some, perhaps many of you who are familiar with Winnie. I'm so grateful we had our last um, trips together in the fall. Uh, I knew those were going to be her last trips. Um, and they were hard but beautiful, and this whole journey is the last little while has been hard but beautiful. Um, and her passing is extremely challenging and also beautiful. Um, anyway, I don't want to linger on this here. I just wanted to share that there's always the hard stuff too. Um, and I think it's especially important in the hard times to lean into beauty in whatever way that you find it. Um, and I think I'm extra grateful to be on the trail, on the road right now, processing all this because it's how I process everything. And this is a very, very hard thing. And I just wanted to share a little piece of that with you. Um, I just want to add that um, I probably, I mean, this is going to be many weeks. This is many weeks away from real time when I'm um, going to be posting this, but just please be kind um, and respectful to not only me, I would appreciate it, but anybody, especially those who are grieving. So, um, yeah. Winnie is with me in my heart always, and she's definitely with me on this trail, but uh, onward we go. I wasn't sure I was going to share this, but um, I did bring a little little piece of her with me. That's a little of her fur there. And one of my favorite pictures from the, I think that was last year, around this time. Um, and it's just extra significant because of the rainbow on her. That's just a reflection in the kitchen. Anyway, I want to make something that I can wear, but I just thought I'd share that. And we're back at the sign. Exactly two hours. It says I went 4.31 miles, which is a bit longer than the um, trail, the app says it is because I forgot, <laughs> added probably like a quarter mile on with that. Yeah, that adds up with that front part. This is so pretty though. There's a car coming by. It's awkward when somebody watches you film. Um, but look, ah, so pretty. Anyway, it was a really good one. Um, 1,200 foot elevation gain. That was right on target and it was just really fun. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, go back to the car. Okay. Well, we're back. That was fun. That was a really great first hike back. So what I had originally planned with that hike in Texas this morning, now I can't remember the name, is it the Palo Duro State Park, Canyon State Park, I think. Um, would have been much lower elevation, a longer hike, but very, like, pretty moderately flat, more or less, for the first, like, big chunk of it, and then a bit of a, a little scramble at the end, and I thought that would be a good way to ease me back into hiking instead of doing this, which was more of a measured incline, right, 1,200, no, yeah, 1,200 foot elevation gain in just under two miles is, you know, that's, that's a pretty good pitch. It's not the steepest, but it's not not the flattest either, I would say. Definitely not flat. But it was good. I mean, I can definitely tell, like, body's fine. It's just my heart rate and my breathing is just like, oh, we're doing this now. <laughs> like, we're at elevation. We're going up a mountain. Anyway, all good. I have decided to cut the video here. I. It is not the Texas video that I thought it was going to be, so I'll have to think of what to call it. The driving to New Mexico vlog. And technically this is Santa Fe that we hiked in. It's only like a 10 minute drive to town. 
and I'm gonna go check into my Airbnb and um, all of that right after I feel like we're talking on a video video call like right after we hang up but uh, I think it'll just be too much if I try to condense it all into one video um, with the New Mexico because I am here for the rest of the today all of tomorrow, tomorrow night, and then I'm planning on hiking another trail nearby on Monday before I head it in another direction. So um, I think that's the best plan. So I realize this video is a little more, I don't know, I feel like all my videos are all over the place, so maybe it's not, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, thank you for coming with me, and I can't wait to share my Santa Fe adventure with you. I've never been, and I'm real excited. I've got some fun things lined up for tomorrow, and like I said, another hike I hope to do. Uh, weather permitting has been just beautiful, but uh, I hope you are well. Wishing you all happy, happy trails. Um, stay safe, have fun when you can, and you know, gotta honor, honor all of, all of it, right? Both and of everything. The grief and the joy can live simultaneously, and that is what a beautiful thing to honor. All right, friends, take very good care, and I will see you, well, for me, it'll be like in a few minutes when I start the next video, but I'll see you next week. All right. <laughs> Bye.